fucked. It's <laughs> look. It's the no what one's actually were? seen this movie because we're at six p.m. on Thursday. What the fuck? I don't know. Wait, All right, you said ninety percent. Ninety percent audience. audience. Wow. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I am out of touch, bro. I feel like that at least like maybe like. The z- hey, 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 save it, motherfuckers. <laughs> we're about to record. No, right. we're, we are recording. Yeah, I'm I know. I'm just but- saying, go. I'll finish what you were saying. Well, no, I could see, like, the critics being skewed. Yeah. But, I, like, what the fuck wanna... was the audience watching? All right, exactly. <laughs> so, welcome to our Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny review. And as you can tell, uh, when I walked out of the theater, I was like, Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Other Joe, you're looking mighty different today. You look big. Get they, they big. Whitewashed OJ. Yeah. Yeah. They whitewashed <laughs> OJ. They what is it doing? What is happening? No, OJ's on vacation. He'll be back that on Monday. motherfucker. <laughs> Put you through Indiana Jones. <laughs> That's what you get, Alex, for not watching Indiana Jones and the Four. Crystal Skull. <laughs> I never watched Crystal Skull, but I've seen this one. So and Oof. have you seen Crystal Skull? No. Why but would it's you? Of it. I've seen you Crystal have to because you. Yeah. So I'll I'll talk about. Uh, this is, in my opinion, worse than Crystal Skull only because of certain elements in it and just jumping the show. You want to talk about fridge? You want to talk? <laughs> so fri- he was in the fridge in the last what? one. Everybody made fun of that one. He survived a nuclear blast in a refrigerator. <laughs> this one goes way above that and beyond it. Um, so this, to me, um, it's like, wow, we are beating this dead franchise. And what do they do when it's like, oh, what, what do we do? What do we do next for the sequel? I got no ideas. Uh, we're going to go to space. <laughs> yeah. We're going to space. And in that case, we got aliens, right, yeah. with uh, India. And then this one is time. Yeah. We are going to do time. <laughs> and so this one was time. As the title implies, Dial of Destiny, I was like, please don't. Please don't. And they did it. And they went all in. Okay. I would have rather done Nazis in space, like okay. Nazi, Nazi moon base space. on Fuck the dark side yeah, of the moon. Like, like James that, Bond like shit. Just dumb moon shit. Because like, this is dumb shit. And yeah. like, I would have rather this, done fun dumb shit. This is cringy dumb yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, and, then, and then we've got the goddaughter. And we got a new short round kind of thing. And they're more the heroes of this film. And Indy's in it, obviously, doing his thing. Okay, let me back up a little. Uh, this is a great 20-minute <laughs> movie. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I really enjoyed myself. Yeah, Patrick, first, did you like the Man, the man, I love I love the 20-minute movie. It's the like first 20 Well, minutes. it's like they had a fucking giant hat of just like generic ideas. Yeah. And it's like you said they could have just made it fun, cringy instead oh, yeah. of Yeah. So I'm I'm naming it Dial of Disaster. <laughs> Dial of Disaster. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, no. The first 20 minutes, you you basically have what you see in the trailer, the sort of CGI young yeah. Harrison Ford. Um, it, yeah, I mean, you can tell that there's some CGI touch up there, but it's not awful. And I was able to sort of get past it and 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 enjoy that first 20 minutes. Just yeah. that classic beating, boom, boom, beating up boom. on Nazis. Yeah. We're on a train. We're doing indie things. Uh, we're getting shot at. We're punching people. This film has the classic indie punch yeah. sound. Running on top of the just train. A thunder punch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You yeah. Would die. It's All like, I need is one punch. It's like, everybody's uh, doing the folk and punch. <laughs> yeah. Right. But um, even, even the goddaughter is in the action, and she, like, punches people yeah, in the next so dimension. Dumb. Yeah. Anyways, uh, uh, I don't know who who is. Re- I just want to know who is responsible. <laughs> this is this Steven Spielberg. Uh, I got produced by Kathleen Kennedy. Oof, that makes sense. That makes sense. Frank Marshall. It's not just her. Right? Frank Marshall, Simon Emanuel. Uh, but I guess maybe I should probably blame more so the f- the writer. No, two writer, not writer. No, three writer. No, Commit- four writers. Committee. Yeah. Committee. And you said it in the car. You're like, I bet you this was written by a committee. Yeah. And I looked yep. it up, and we got a committee. We got Jez Butterworth. We got John Henry Butterworth. We got David Coeb. The Butterworth? The guy the Butterworth? Damn, dude. James That's where Miss Butterworth went. <laughs> All right. God damn, so, they should have stick to syrup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was dumb. Um, mm-hmm. and it was, uh, the indie fly, I guess. I don't want to ruin too much. We'll have a spoiler section. How can but, you ruin what is I, already but ruined? But I will say <laughs> indie flies through a butthole in the sky <laughs> and we get the movie. Yep. yep. So that's when the movie jumps to start when indie flies through a butthole in the sky. 
there's a there's some other parts where it's oh, yeah. like he's he's a geriatric man. Like and look, I love Harrison Ford. I love got uh, a standing ovation. Everybody thought. Yeah, that. I was like, wow, Five this is an amazing movie. It, yeah, it's for the movie. And they're yeah. like, no, 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 Wait, for his lifetime, lifetime achievement. achievement. Yeah, uh, they're like, oh yeah, absolutely, okay, that guy's yeah, amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy's great. This movie is dog <laughs> shit, but that, that guy was great. The movie was just confused and weird. The first 20 minutes was absolutely solid because it felt Indiana Jones. I have watched the first three movies, no shit, probably a hundred times. Yeah. I had all of them on one VHS tape. Yeah. Uh, one of them, one of the movies yeah, had, had a commercial. And so it's like we, we, like, we used to watch those <laughs> things all the time. I love it. And the first 20 minutes had some of that heart. It had some of the soul. John Williams is not really writing new music, it felt like. He's just... He, He's pulling your heartstrings yeah, with the classic yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it felt really good. He punches Nazis, their heads explode, and I just don't know how they just like get knocked out forever and ever and ever. <laughs> like I just I don't know what's going on. But it's cheesy, and then it's fun, and then something happens. We go forward in time to modern modern day, so 1969, and Indiana Jones is a pathetic alcoholic. Is that on that grandpa couch love yeah. seat thing? Yeah, he, 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 he drank himself. He passed out in his underwear on his couch. He goes to his last day of work. No pomp, no there, circumstance. He there is a big emotional moment. We'll save it for the spoiler. Or a big event that happened in his life that led it to here. Alex may not know it because he didn't watch the last film. But we'll oh, get to yeah, it yeah. But so he's a <laughs> shitty, pathetic dude who apparently retires in the, before the finals because he's like, you know, there's a scene where he's like, oh, final, the finals. I'm like, done. He's like, I, I, I'm retiring. It's like, the school year's not over yet, you piece of shit. What do you mean you're retiring before the final? So Indiana Jones is a, an unlikable asshole. Yeah. And I thought this was going to be the most unlikable asshole until his goddaughter shows up. And she's even more of a piece of shit. And I know, I get that they're trying to be like, like her. It's, she has, she's, she's brash yeah. and, she's, and she's self-sufficient. She's all these things. Doesn't she? remind you of Indiana Jones it's like no and she looks at guys because he's <laughs> just constantly commenting on yeah because yeah. he was a he was a just good guy bad, ultimately bad he was a good guy but he, he had unorthodox ways, ways of, of doing things yeah. she's just a piece of shit trying to steal art for profit and like she, they don't do anything with it where she's like stealing to raise money for like a good cause like she's trying to like raise yeah. up new short round yeah. she's just like no cash is king fuck you I'm gonna abandon you I'm gonna frame you for murder I'm gonna leave the country she's a piece of shit so I have sad Indiana Jones who was a character that I used to like uh, and I don't like here I have his shitty goddaughter who I don't have any affinity for and I hate her the whole time and so it's like I can't root for the Nazis so who the <laughs> fuck am I rooting for in this movie you know what I was rooting for Beer. Uh, beer. Beer. Well, uh, Antonio Banderas. Oh, I love Antonio Oh, Antonio Banderas, man. It's like he got the script, read it, and he's like, I'll do 10 minutes, and then you need to... You should kill, kill Yeah, you should kill, kill, kill I don't know if I can just spoil it or not, uh, but then you got to you gotta offer oh, me after you, that. you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even a, second, he's not even a secondary too. character. Yeah, I mean, like he was like, I need I need exit this film. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to be a part of Indy. I'm going to say yes to Indy, but then when I read the script, I was like, can I die? Yeah, can, yeah. Can, please, I, can I die? Please. And like, they said yes. They're like, get, a, get him out of here. Um, yeah. Apparently, we are fucking wrong and we're stupid because we looked it up on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. We got super surprised. It yeah. is a 90% 90. audience. Of course, we just finished seeing it. It's like the first showing. So maybe that will The only change, people that have seen it like, no, are I guess it's a crowd hearts. pleaser. Maybe I we guess. didn't drink I'm enough beers. Sure. But or it's... No, <laughs> y'all did drink beers. <laughs> <laughs> this is only my third beer in the last four hours. I wish I'd been drinking more beers. <laughs> So uh, yeah, there's a there's a subplot with the CIA helping out a oh, where'd former that go? Nazi with the where did that go? and the moon landings and and he did help and all this other stuff that really goes nowhere. Um, and it's and then the most insulting thing is you know people may not have liked uh, Mutt's character, but they do something with Mutt here that I found insulting and. Under the bus, throw the dude under the bus, kind of thing, and so I was, I was also put off by that. Um, and you're right, Alex. So you, you, it's like, who do we root root for, yeah. for here? It's like, I guess I can root for Indy. I, I mean, yeah, he kind of sucks, but I like him, right? Yeah. And and his god goddaughter just is not. I mean, I well, just the whole didn't thing like with the her. I didn't like yeah. the thief. Go ahead. Sorry. Well, the whole thing with the goddaughter is her character is literally the character. Uh, that she got famous off of in Fleabag. So, right. So she she's literally <laughs> kind of playing, being a piece of shit. Yeah, but she's yeah, a shit, but she's a conscious about it. And and she tries it, to be a good yeah. person, but she's doesn't really work here. Yeah. I guess they try to do it at the end, but we've already jumped a shark. That like you've lost me, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> you, you're really you're really 
digging your grave here. Um, Helena Shaw, Helena Wombat, uh, yeah. Wombat, I guess. So I didn't know who to root for, and I guess um, so. I guess Indy actually start. If you think about, th- and then the the fuck, what was th- <laughs> you were saying in the car? What was the bad guy's plan? Yeah, yeah, Is he's just gonna take end? over. <laughs> just, just, what's happening? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. And then and then we're like, okay, if that's his plan, then does Indy fuck that up? And is Indy actually the bad guy? Yeah, because <laughs> he takes his stuff. All right. But anyways, no, we'll get that. We'll get to that in the spoilers. But um. Yeah, it, it just, I will say, okay, some positive aspects. Boy, do they, they really try to bring that, that old school, you know, action, uh, indie flight, like constant car chases. I mean, yeah, we're literally no. <laughs> just going from one car to the next car to a little, what are those called? Rickshaws? Tuck, tuck. Oh, rickshaw tuck, tuck. things. Tuck. Yeah, tuk-tuks. And then another tuk tuk, and then to another tuk tuk, and then it's and then to planes, and it's like, can you drive them? I don't give a shit. Let's, I'm just gonna drive them. I, yeah. Now, I, all of a sudden, I know well, how to fly planes. Yeah, and he's doing all this badass shit, but it's also he's supposed to be old and frail. Yeah. Like I'm yeah. like, what, what's well, going on? The stunt doubles, because it's like the stunt doubles are not old. And frail. I was like, <laughs> the villain has this huge muscle man, and I'm like, if any takes one punch in this film from that guy, <laughs> he's dead, dead. <laughs> and, and he takes two. Maybe. I yeah, think there's okay. like two or three. But, um, yeah. So, it's dead and gone now. Uh, they said they're not doing another one. They, they Mercifully, <laughs> they say this is the last one. But I felt like you didn't need to do the last two. two yeah. I understand that Harrison Ford loves the character. And I understand that it's Lucas. It was cool seeing the Lucas Arts there. It's like, oh, right. So, I think I'm going to get quality and man, Maybe. lately, Disney's I don't know right if, it's, it. if it's Kathleen's influence, Kathleen Kennedy. I just don't know. And Steven Spielberg. Who, who do I blame for this? <laughs> the writers. Because, the writers, right. Uh, because it just did not recapture uh, the magic. There are t- tiny moments. I don't even know if I can say tiny. Mo- the first 20 minutes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but he, the first 20 minutes was like a... Uh, piece of an episode of a TV series if they decided to keep it going with CGI Harrison <laughs> Ford and it was one of the average TV yeah. episodes yeah. that they decided to keep going with the CGI Harrison Ford. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like, let's do a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I mean, this stuff can work, but you have to hire the right people to write this thing. Like, I mean, Tom Cruise kind of proved it. I know we, we, we hearken back to Top Gun, but it's like, look, they wanted to revive a, a dead franchise that's been gone for a long time. And they took their time, they wrote something that they thought people would love, and they killed it. And they made a ton of fucking money, and good on them for that. I hope this loses a shitload of money. And, like, the people that, you know, who's responsible, who to blame? The people that are out there saying that this movie is amazing. Oh and God. it's like, if you generally, <laughs> generally like it, and, like, genuinely do like this movie, I'm not trying to shit on you. I don't mean that at all. But it's the people who are, like, that... that are fine with below average shit and it's like I'm so tired of characters that I love or franchises I love or cartoons that I love they're, that they're, being. They're, they're paraded around by a, a story by committee <laughs> and these people are like oh yeah it was fine it was totally fine yeah. it's like no it's not fine we in, as consumers in the time <laughs> space aliens <laughs> We yeah. need to see Indy. We need to see Indy meet his arrows in space. And then you see the movie theater clapping. Yeah. It's just callbacks, like, oh, callbacks. Oh, he used his whip. The snakes, the callbacks. That, yeah. The callbacks. <laughs> there's and so the many callbacks. They put the bugs the and bugs. the fucking snakes, but this time they're underwater. They're underwater snakes. Did you know there are underwater snakes and they could have just no, used? No, no. Indy said, no, they're not snakes. They don't look like snakes. No. Oh. And I laughed a tiny bit. And then, but he was supposed to go, we are going <laughs> to die. That's my favorite meme. I had that as a notification for the longest time on the show. Um, yeah. So they wasted Antonio Banderas. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> and they unfortunately wasted Harrison Ford on this story. The, this, and then the ending is so rushed. They, they are in a rush to end this thing in Wrap a happy way. Yep. 
where it just feels undeserved and you're like, okay, so you're both pieces of shit mm-hmm. because you just never talk to it. And we'll get there. We'll never – just whatever. <laughs> okay, so let, <laughs> let's just rush on over. That's our opinion. You've probably already downloaded the video if you're amongst the 90 percentile that was clapping. <laughs> yeah! That's fine. But we're always going to give you our honest opinion. And I walked out of the theater disappointed saying, man, was the last one worse or was this one worse? Hated I'm gonna, it. <laughs> I haven't seen the last one in a while, so I'm going to have to watch it again. But uh, maybe i force Alex to watch it. <laughs> okay. So let's go to final verdicts. Um, Let's start with Alex. Let's oh, let our oh. guests uh, go. Go. Um, I, I think that this is kind of a giant waste of time. It's it's a studio cash grab. They want to take an IP that they think is going to be a guaranteed hit. It's going to be a big summer blockbuster. They saw what Top Gun did last year, <laughs> and what they did is they just yeah. didn't put any love or care into the writing. Because honestly, I don't think that the story is good at all. I no. don't think that the, the villains are all that compelling. In fact, the good guys aren't compelling, and you're not even rooting for them. Um, what, what about the what about the tomb raiding, Alex? You <laughs> like the tomb raiding and the puzzle solving? It's because that's an that's an element of indie, right? To- tomb raiding and puzzle solving. Yeah, there wasn't very much of it. It wasn't as bad as Uncharted, where you know the the, the doodad is <laughs> under the bar. under the streets yeah. of Rome. But it's not <laughs> much bar. better than that. Like, no, the, I actually think it is that bad. It's yeah, under the streets of Rome. Okay, maybe <laughs> uh, Uncharted is real low. It's, it's third. It's thirty feet away from a tourist trap, whereas. Uncharted was five feet away yeah. from a tourist. There, there's track. literally a wooden bridge, <laughs> and it's just like, wait a minute. Like, they just walked here. I, Did I, nobody I, walk across this wooden bridge ever? and find this amazing <laughs> discovery uh, yeah. that nobody has ever everybody's been looking for yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's it, it's silly and so like none of the, even the tomb rating isn't satisfying so it's like i i don't i don't know what this is for i don't know who it's for it felt like a two and a half hour waste of time Oof. um and I love, I like, I I even like the bad Indiana Jones, not the the one that you've seen because I haven't seen that one. The but like, every, everyone says Temple of Doom is bad, but I love that movie. What? That no, it, Temple of Doom is awesome. Yeah. I like it. I, I like that movie. Well, it's, I a, <laughs> it's, it's it's not great, <laughs> but you, I love that. Movie. If you look at all three, then yeah, then <laughs> it's, I it's guess the worst. It is of those. But when I was a kid, to me, they yeah. were all the same. Yeah. Yeah. I fucking <laughs> loved them all. But this one is so much worse than that. Um, I I don't like the characters. I can't th- tell you of a scene that I that I enjoy. That I want to go back to. Honestly, I didn't think that the car. What chase was the kid's name? Uh, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Not, not short not, round. Yeah, <laughs> not not short round. But it's like I didn't think any of the, the chase scenes, any of the stuff on the horse. I don't think that was satisfying or interesting. I didn't think any of the stuff on the tuk tuk was all that satisfying. And it, it was CGI, and it felt weird. If it was like, wait a minute, is this a James Bond or is this Indiana mm-hmm. Jones? Because it doesn't fucking belong in this movie. Mission Impossible. There could have been. <laughs> I don't know. They just completely and totally <laughs> missed the mark. So not only. Do I think this is a below average movie? But you're shitting on a franchise that I hold near and dear. So I'm going to take away an extra point. I'm going to give this a three out of ten. So five, you know, five is average, four is below average. So I think that this is a bad movie, and I don't think that you should see it. Hey, we're kicking it over to uh, Patrick. Uh, we did some spoilers, so I cut it here because I was I went too far. So Patrick, what do you think of uh, the film? So like like I was saying, just. Uh, the ending for me was just so anticlimactic. Yeah. It was just like, oof. <laughs> the drug like, jaw like, hits the floor. I'm like, all right, what what happens next? And then, like, he's just, you know, and then, like, it it just, no spoilers, but it's just very vanilla. It didn't, it, it wasn't satisfying. Vanilla's was, delicious. How dare you? It's <laughs> lower than vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> and what were you saying earlier? Just let, you just... Just let they're, it die, man. It like, die, yeah, man. it's like it's like like we were saying earlier. Like, they're just like picking ideas out, and they're like, "We're gonna do this, and then this, and then it just hasn't doesn't have any continuity." Or that connective tissue. Yeah. yeah, it feels like they are. You know, when they've gone, when they've run out of ideas, and then they're just yeah, yeah and they're and like, "We'll the throw, wind. we'll throw a meat little like uh, callback meme here," and. Mm-hmm. You know, and so what would you give it out of ten? With on our <laughs> scale, five is average. Uh, you know, eight, nine, ten, obviously good films, and then uh, four being a below average film. Then three, two, one, where it's like, nah, man, I no. Nah. It gets a two strictly just for it being Indiana Jones. Yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, it was like, one point for Indy, yeah. one point <laughs> for, for the, the first, first twenty thing. minutes. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I can see. So Alex three, mm-hmm. Patrick even harder at two. 
I guess, why do I always have to be the <laughs> kind one? I'm angry, Joe, goddammit, but I, I mean, there are definitely times I can see a two. There are definitely times I can see a three. Um, I guess there's some nostalgia in me for Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford, his performance, but goddamn, there's not much else to grab onto no. here. Didn't like any of the side characters. No. Didn't like the plot. I'm like, please don't do the time thing. You did the fucking time <laughs> thing, and you did it. No, you guys are right. Like, I don't give a fuck. Just download the video. I'm not going to be the nice guy. It's a three. I think it's a three out of okay, ten. Okay. Um, if I disliked the last Indiana Jones, I mean, actually, I, I liked some parts of the last one with Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Everybody agreed it was dumb. And it jumped the shark. This one does the same thing. Is this just a thing now? Like, does, <laughs> is, does Disney, like, just, yeah, no, that's what Indy's always been. Indy's always jumped in the shark, and we're just going way too far with it. And I'm like, nah, man, the Indy films, they're fucking amazing films. I don't think yeah. they've always been like it's that. Like, but so. it's different because we have different uh, side characters here that you're going to feel nothing about. Yeah, it, you remember Short Round? You like Short Round, right? We got a new one. It's you're like, so right. Patrick, uh, yes. The, like, I don't feel for the characters, and um, and that's the problem. So trying to figure out if I ever even fucking reviewed the first one. I got a trailer reaction for the first one. The Last Crusade um, should have remained the last <laughs> The crusade. last, I mean, yeah. what an amazing <laughs> end cap. It's like him and Sean Connery. They literally ride off into the sunset together. And I could have had that forever yeah. as, like, the final They're installment. Like, in your heart. Like, yeah. That, that, and then yeah. I, I got to skip the last one because, you know, it doesn't exist. And then, <laughs> then there's this one now. And, like, this is in my brain. And this doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to just block it out. Yeah. You have forever. to kind of block it out. You have to go back in time. They even show, like, uh, uh, before this, they showed a clip of, like, the ending of the third one. And you're like, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. That's fine. This is and uh, so... This was a great 20-minute film, uh, a little piece of a TV episode that never got aired. They decided to release it. Wow, that's great. Um, I don't remember what happened for the next two and a half hours. <laughs> two, two hours It was a fever minutes. dream. Yeah. But it didn't happen. This didn't happen. Alex, you didn't see right. any other Indy. You didn't see Indy 4, and you didn't see Indy 5, so we're good. <laughs> Just a nice little thing that they, they filmed. A failed TV pilot, but... You know, great performances from uh, Harrison Ford, and and I like Mads Mikkelsen. You know, mm -hmm. he's always convincing, and he's always great. But you're not going to root for the Nazi, no. So okay. three yeah. out of ten, and uh, yeah, let let it let it die. And this is the end. And please, no more. Please, let no it be more there. Disney. And I'm really ashamed of you, Disney. Like this is, like I'm, I can't, I can't. Wow, I'm like man, Disney. Like I see what. Everybody says about you. This is this is blatant. <laughs> this is member berries. This yeah, is cash but grab. done very poorly. And then you've got you know I can see Kathleen's influence. I can see modern influence. It's like bro, nah, this didn't land. And the ninety percent audience reaction, oof. I I guess I'm out of touch. I've hit that age now where I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe this is the Temple of Doom for you in twenty years because it's clearly the worst one. All right, anyways, that's going to be it for us. We were not kind. 3 out of 10, 3 out of 10, and 2 out of 10. Uh, we'll see you in the spoiler section. Bye, guys.